Below freezing temperatures are headed our way, as Matt just mentioned, and we know you Texans are probably not looking forward to it. So how cold is too cold during this Arctic blast? I don't want to know, and I'm sure you don't <laughs> either. Six News reporter Meredith Haas joins us live in studio with more. Meredith, what you got for us? Yeah, hey, so before this Arctic blast hits, we need to know how to protect ourselves and our pets. That means taking every precaution to keep them out of those freezing temps. The Arctic blast is almost here. How much ice are we talking here? And with it, frigid temps that could be worrisome for many Central Texans. Wear a couple of pairs of socks. Make sure your feet stay dry. Amy Mercyowski with Texas A&M University Central Texas says you shouldn't be out in temps less than 31 degrees for more than 30 minutes at a time. It takes calories to stay warm and um, your metabolism helps to keep you warm. On top of having the proper winter gear, Amy says you need to eat and stay hydrated while outside. You probably want to have some small frequent meals in there. If you don't take this advice, here's what hypothermia and frostbite might look like. With hypothermia, there's shivering, fatigue, confusion. Later stages include dilated pupils, slow breathing, and blue skin. Frostbite will set in when you start noticing tingling, some stinging, aching or numbness. Just remember, if it's cold for you, it's definitely cold for your pets. So you want to put them inside. Bring your pet in if you can, like in your mudroom or a bathroom. But if you can't, Julie Morris with the Waco Humane Society warns owners to keep dogs from facing northerly winds. Give them blankets and cover the area they're in with tarps. We encourage folks to make sure that your dog house is stuffed filled with straw because it stays dry and keeps animals warm. If you don't have any, the Humane Society will hand out free straw on Saturday. The last piece of advice, if you use warming devices on your pets. So we want to encourage people to identify a radiant heat source yeah, so don't use those heat lamps that are bulbs. They are not safe for dogs, cats and chicken coops. Instead, use those radiant heat sources like Julie just said. For more information, go on over to KCENTV.com or go over to our app. Chris. Yeah, thanks, Meredith. Like it or not, that cold temperature is coming here. Yep. Thank you so much.